We are the only major country on earth not to guarantee health care to every man, woman, and child as a human right. We have a cruel and dysfunctional system. We are now spending twice as much as the people of any other country, $11,000 every man, woman, and child. And as a union man, you understand that when unions negotiate, what is the major issue that's up for negotiation? Whether or not they're going to take back some of the health care benefits. You want a 3% raise? Okay, we're going to cut your health care. What we have got to do is what every other major country on earth does, guarantee health care to all people. Despite now spending more than any other country, we got 87 million who are uninsured and underinsured. That means very large premiums that people are paying, co-payments that people are paying, outrageous deductibles that people have, out-of-pocket expenses. And by the way, we are paying the highest prices in the world by far for prescription drugs. In some cases, we are paying 10 times more than the Canadians or people in Europe for the same exact prescription drugs because of the greed and the corruption of the pharmaceutical industry. What Medicare for all means is that your union is not going to have to sit down and negotiate health care benefits every time you come to the table. What it will mean is you will have quality care by expanding Medicare. And let me tell you what I mean by expanding Medicare. Right now, Medicare is the most popular health insurance program in America. Far more, far more popular than private insurance. But it is far from perfect. What we are going to do with Medicare for All is expand health care benefits to include dental care, to include hearing aids, to include eyeglasses, and you know what else? We're going to cover home health care so that people will not be forced out of their homes unnecessarily into a nursing home.